on the flight deck. So you'll have the island with the big 73 in the background. It's a pretty good backdrop. Gadget Nation is on board of USS George Washington and this time around we're checking out some of the naval technology that they have on board. So you can see that's this aircraft behind me, they call it the Hawkeye and uh, if you want to find out more about what kind of technology it used to communicate with the aircraft carrier, find out more after this. It's uh, my pleasure to welcome everybody aboard the uh, ship on this uh, very beautiful morning. Certainly as you look around the uh, flight deck right here, um, you, you don't suffer for, for lack of technology. Uh, the airplanes uh, that the Carrier Air Wing uh, 5 embarks on board our ship are, are the Navy's uh, newest airplanes. And, uh, and they have uh, the, pretty much the latest and greatest uh, technology. Um, as you tour the ship today, you will also notice other examples of, of technology that abound around the ship as well. Uh, from electronics to uh, mechanical systems and, and all the, uh, the other systems that we use to, to keep and maintain the ship and the airplanes in a top shape. Um, in in uh, today's world, uh, technology increases at a very rapid pace. And, uh, and one of the challenges that, that we always face is, is making sure that our sailors um, are trained on the newest uh, technology so that uh, they can effectively use it uh, and employ it. Like I said, our, we, obviously we have radars on board, like all ships do. Okay, our air search radar, approximately 280 nautical miles. I, I can't give you the exact, but so what's nice about the E2C Hawkeye, again, our intelligence surveillance reconnaissance aircraft, like I said, the big disc you see on top there, there is radar. So they can be out 500 nautical miles flying a mission, and we can link into their radar picture. So we see what they're seeing. So if you think about that, let's say we can only see 500 nautical miles out, which we can see more than that, because thanks to the E2C Hawkeye, so that extends our range, you know, 100, 200, 300%. Um, some technological advances of the, this ship, this particular aircraft carrier, is that for one, we have the Growlers on board, which is the newest electronic attack uh, aircraft. Uh, we are the first carrier to get underway with a full Growler squadron. Uh, if you've seen a Growler, it looks just like an F-18. Uh, it's structured over an F-18 body, but what's really benefit about that is the Growler can provide for its own self-defense. So what I mean by that is we don't have to launch an F-18 like we did with the old Prowlers. Uh, so like I said, the Grawl Electronic Warfare, so they're primarily involved in jamming an enemy's radar system, communications, you know, weapon systems, so we can send in our strike fighters and our bombers to take out the missile sites, etc. Uh, navigation system-wise, uh, a lot of people think the carry oh, you know, we don't use paper charts anymore, everything's electronic. Well, that's not the case. Um, all ships in the United States Navy, for that matter, whether they transferred over to being electronic navigation primarily, or ECTUS we call it, or if they still use paper charts, we always have backups to every system on board. So while we still have, yes, we have an electronic navigation system on board the George Washington, if you look at our bridge and where the chart table is, we still have quartermasters who are those enlisted who are trained specifically to be masters of navigation, if you will, uh, they still use paper charts. Um, of course, yes, we do use GPS, or the Global Positioning System, uh, which is the satellites that pinpoint our location. Um, you know, pretty much puts us within three feet of our actual position on the Earth. Um, uh, like I said, on top of that, we do have other systems we use as well for navigation. So if one were to go down, let's say electronic navigation, GPS goes down, we still have our paper charts that we're using, and we're plotting our position. Or if we're not near a land where we can shoot a bearing, and do a cross bearing to give us a position. We still have, of course, the stars and the sun that help us out as well. Uh, the aircraft is nuclear powered. So really the only thing limiting us to remain at sea is for one, well, sailor sanity. Obviously you need a break at some point, but it's also how much food can we carry on board. Uh, one thing nice about the US Navy, we do do what we call replenishments at sea. Um, but one thing nice about the ship, we do make our own water. Uh, we do, we have distillers on board and they produce about 400,000 gallons of water a day. It was an exhilarating experience. We look forward to more of such adventure.